Hi, I'm Amy Lepore, and you're watching Fandango All Access. Fandango was just a website. Now look at us. <laughs> I'm here with writer-director Adam Perkins. Yes, thank you for having me. Adam, this week you joined a growing chorus of actors and directors speaking to Hollywood's invaluable role in politics. You tweeted, now more than ever, we artists must rise up, dig deep, and create. Can you say a little more about that? Thanks, Amy. Yeah, people really responded to that. Um, you know, in this political climate, artists have a responsibility to make good work, uh, no matter the cost. Also joining me are Sarah Wilner and Sam Stevens. Hi. Good hello. to be here. They're the stars of Adam's new movie, Hot Robot 3, Journey to Boob Mountain. <laughs> Now, we know from the first Hot Robot movie that, Sarah, you play Hot Robot, a bisexual robot exchange student from Sweden. That's right, Amy. There's so much about her story that resonates today because Hot Robot is an immigrant and also Hot Robot is a robot. Mm. And, Sam, you fall in love with Hot Robot as Danny Burke, a.k.a. Skidmark. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it was great to dive back into Skidmark. Now, it's been said the hot robot movies dare to ask the question, what if American Pie had robots? In Journey to Boob Mountain, what's changed? Amy, I, I think the actual world around us has changed in a very scary way. A and the third hot robot film has a duty to reflect that. That's why hot robots' boobs have gotten bigger and pointier. <laughs> Absolutely. In Robot 1, Skidmark first catches Hot Robot's eye... By making a bong out of hamburger buns. In the cafeteria of College U, right, yes. Um, but in the third film, Skidmark and his buddy Tweezer go to the factory Double D 420 to get all of the Hot Robots to harness their boob energy. Yeah, obviously there's a lot of anger about the election in that choice, but yeah, also a lot of hope. Um, you know, if we could... If we could all harness our boob energy, who knows what we could accomplish. Yes, now more than ever, artists must speak truth to power. I mean, that's what the whole horny grandma scene is about. Oh, now, you're talking about the scene where the nerd robot loses his virginity to a bus full of grandmas. Absolutely. I think that... Yeah. Oops, please, go <laughs> no, ahead. No, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I think that scene is about all of us. Uh, I think... I think the horny grandmas are... Oh, storytellers. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I noticed that all the grandmas were all played by 20-year-olds. Was that deliberate? Ah, good eye, Amy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was an allusion to a utopia where no women are discarded because all women are hot. Oh, sorry, that just gave me chills. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's get serious for a moment. The day after the election, you guys had a shoot day. What was that like? Ooh, uh, that was a hard one. Uh, Adam, who was so strong the whole day, said, guys, just put everything you're feeling about the election into this scene. I think we have a clip of that. We made it to Boob Mountain, but will I ever see you again? Me, no, no. What about one last boink? Boink initiated. Skibble. That was November 9th. Wow. All right, uh, I have one more question, and this is for anyone. If you could say anything to President-elect Trump, what would it be? I think I'd quote my character, Hot Robot. Me may be robot, but me lovey skidmark till me go sleep sleep bye bye. Uh, I'm sorry, I just, I just imagined Obama saying that. <laughs> Thanks for talking with me today, guys. Hot Robot 3, Journey to Boob Mountain, comes out January 15th exclusively on Samsung Gear VR.